everyone i hope you're well and i hope you're smelling great and you're enjoying your favorite fragrances today and this is what we're going to be opening today kalan by parfums de mali hi guys yeah as i mentioned this is today's offering Land by Parfum de Mali. It's not a blind buy. It's I had actually sampled this. I sampled it. I bought Haltain actually, and I received a sample of this when I bought Haltain. So. I've been wearing that sample and I just remember really enjoying this and there were other perfumes, Damalis that I wished to purchase that I hadn't bought before this though it was always on the list, always. This to me, my recollection is, is a phenomenal fragrance. Yeah, so we're just gonna get into this now. Let's just open this up. Um, it's not going to be a very ceremonious one as usual just rip that off there like that and that's it's a really nice colour box I like red and there's the card can actually read this one not often sometimes I get these in the day of cards in so yeah and that's very legible that one not reading it backwards for you guys so I literally want to mirror put a mirror on there the there it is there's the look at that what a wonderful bottom beautiful color red silver distinct fire heat I think, if I remember, this does have chilli in actually. Pepper, hot pepper, not chilli. Um, so, yeah, I remember it being quite a vibrant, warm feel. It's sort of chemical reaction-y feel. So, not in an unpleasant way. The I just remember it being warm, warm, spicy. So... It's not, as I said, it's not new to me. I had tried a sample and yeah, though this, this is the full bottle. I, I bought of a Parfum de Mali's before this. This was always going to be a purchase though because I'd sampled it. I sort of saved it till the end. It was, it was inevitable. It was going to be bought. It was just finding the right price on retail. I think I paid 180 for this. It was very difficult to find it. It's cheaper than that. I shopped around and there's places in Europe or uh, Americas that we get nailed for import tax there. So I was trying to find a UK provider. But yeah, so we'll, we'll spray this on. So this is not, not new to me. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> Whew. That's stunning, that is. I get so excited putting this one on. It's beautiful. It's, it's just... just and this opening, 
oh, it's just so it's tasty it's almost tasty it's like i don't know it smells like there's a caramel in there I don't think there is but it smells like it smells like a tasty caramel chew though there's that citrus that different citrus that blood orange citrus and then the pepper I remember yeah the pepper and initially wanting to like sneeze at you sort of though that dissipates soon I, if i if i remember rightly the dry down on this it it, it it comes quite prominent again in the dry down oh that's beautiful what is that this to me is a work of art it's pure alchemy it's i'm really happy to have this this the feeling i get from this that i just feel so comfortable so like how can i can put it like held it's like it's just hugged <laughs> a, a loving hug this is this is loving hug stuff I, I, I'm not sure how else to explain this. This this is up there with one of the best from from the house in my mind. Though it's polarizing, it is. It's like this is my first. I mentioned this is my first non compliment was off a of rooms to mine that someone didn't like. I can understand it because I have a similar thing with uh, Carlisle. I've mentioned it before. The opening of Carlisle to me, I don't, I don't like it. And yeah, yeah I can. It, initially, it overwhelmed me and blew me away. Though each and every time I wear it now, it's it's actually annoying, and I'd like it to go as quick as. But then I love the experience of wearing a dry down. So it's a, it's a sacrifice. And so many people love Carlisle, so it's I can understand why. And those people probably feel for me. Well, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> couldn't care less how I feel about <laughs> Carlisle. Though, this, this is just heaven. I mean, it's a hot day here. I don't. I, it was a choice actually. Do I? unbox this or do I unbox Sedley because I ordered them both and I know this is probably the better day to be unboxing Sedley because it's really hot here though I just really wanted to get into this and what, that experience of wearing this again I, if I remember rightly longevity of this is not a factor this was seven eight hours easy and I believe it was one of them go to bed and still smell it in the morning ones from the house not all bathroom demolies do that though i believe this is one of them that does so super ecstatic very excited can't wait to put this into action mobilize it get it out there um, yeah offend people if needed <laughs> i'm just Heading over to Frugantica just to get the low down on this and yeah, share with you what you can already see for yourself. Um, yeah, Kalan by Parfums de Mali is an amber spicy fragrance for women and men. Kalan was launched in 2019. Top notes of spices, blood orange, black pepper, middle notes of lavender and orange blossom, base notes are woody notes, moss, white sandalwood, tonka bean, and amber. Okay, so it's unisex. Yeah, okay. I'd probably add more on the male side myself, though. Yeah. I don't know. It's the pepperiness that would have me f feeling this is more for male. But of course, anyone can pull off any fragrance. Doesn't really matter, though. I, I should be airing more on more masculine this some of the cons here are not safe for blind buying if you like spicy if you like spicy citrusy yeah this, and when i say spicy this is really deeply spicy it's very peppery and that's what that's what really comes through on the dry down 
So bear that in mind. I've, I, as I mentioned earlier, it's, it's, it's almost the opening, it's almost had me wanting to sneeze. So it, there is the potential there for a reaction. Right, not suitable for everyone, 57. So yeah, I'd agree with that, four, don't agree with that. I, this isn't for everyone. Controversial and disliked by some. I don't know what, what they'd mean by controversial. I don't know if there was some controversy on release for this. If, if something happened. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the history. I can see why it's disliked. <laughs> Borderline disgusting to some. 22 agree with that. 28 disagree. Borderline disgusting. But my friend, I gave him a, a spread of sample and he he was offended he didn't like it i almost felt offended because he was offended because i loved this and i was like coming to the show i'm like wow and this gentleman usually agrees with a lot of fragrances i wear or if he's, he's very quick to say what's that you're wearing and with this, it was almost like a, a, a natural, instinctual reaction of disgust, offence. So, yeah, I, c I can see how that happens, and, I, and I, as I say, I really feel for for that. And my, I guess my suggestion or encouragement around that would be: get through the opening, get through the opening of this, because. That opening it doesn't last long and then it's pretty quick to dry down and then there's the experience of this fragrance. So maybe hold your breath for a, a few moments. Um, get that initial sting out, let the bottle settle. And most disappointing offering from the house. Yeah, I don't know about that. But no, strong synthetic scent. This is far from synthetic. From, no, 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 no. Parfum de Mali's fragrances, not one of them that I've smelled is is synthetic at all. Uh, the, there may be synthetics in them. Or if, well, I don't, I don't even think they do. I don't know. Someone maybe can let me know. Okay, so the pros of this, unique and powerful. Definitely, definitely powerful, unique. I've not smelled anything like this. The, the nearest, the very nearest fragrance that remotely comes near this. And when I say this, there's a caveat. It's got the pepperiness of the likes of Spice Bomb and Spice Bomb Extreme. However, it's totally different direction from those. It's just that pepperiness. There's a pepperiness that's similar. So I think this stands alone on its own. Actually, you know, having said that, I've, I've not smelled anything like this. It's very orangey, very peppery, beautiful, magical. Very strong projection. I do remember this being a bit of a beast. I do. I, I really do remember this being a beast. And, and that's why I'm so excited for this. The feelings I get from wearing this. And yeah, what can I say with anyone who, who likes fragrances? For me, it's all around feeling the experience, yeah. And if you enjoy that, then that's you. That's 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 your scent. That's it's, it. Doesn't have to be there to you know fit in with other people or meet their expectations. You know, and I really discourage people wearing fragrances for others, like if they don't genuinely like them themselves. I would sooner wear a fragrance I love that runs the risk of offending people or other people, you know, not liking it, then wear something that's just going to fit in with normal, it's really popular or, 
you know, we all know the mainstream corporates out there. So yeah, I, to, to be honest, a lot of the mainstream corporates I don't own. I and mean, I may get round to owning them. You know, I might be missing a trick though. I, I sooner go off the beaten track with stuff that I like really and I enjoy wearing. Long lasting longevity, yeah, definitely. I remember this well. Seven, eight hours, easy. Masculine and Ruggington, yeah. I, I feel this airs more on masculinity. Oh, stunning, that is just stunning. I'm, I'm actually really glad I opened this and not Sedley. Um, I'm looking forward to Sedley, don't get me wrong. Though, like, yeah, this is the wise choice today. Um, compliment getter, I don't know um, about that. I've been out once wearing it to a meal and yeah, no one else mentioned it apart from actually my mate disliking it. So yeah. Uh, suitable for all seasons okay well that's interesting I'm glad to hear because it's super hot and sunny outside so yeah not as pretty as other fragrances is that a pro not as pretty as other fragrances what does that mean what the bottle the fragrance Yeah, I don't quite get that. If you were looking for a pretty fragrance, I mean, I don't even know what a pretty fragrance looks like, so I can't really comment on that. So let's see what a few other people are saying. I recently got a decant of this. Not a big fan of the strong moss I get in the opening, but the dry down is gorgeous. Performance is great too, but that opening is too off-putting for me to love this one. Okay, yeah, it's so back to what I was saying. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. It did offend my mate to perhaps, perhaps, um, yeah, just hold, hold your breath for a few moments. Um, Callan has been reformulated. I have a decant 2021 and a newer sample. The sample lacks brightness and delicious orange. Such a pity. You know, one word, rancid. <laughs> rancid. Uh, Emil says this is so harsh and unrefined strong and potent but incredibly off-putting smells like spices and nothing else by far the worst from PDM I absolutely hate this fragrance yes it smells like good quality but smells like wet moss I really hate the woodiness and the moss see I don't I mean, I smell, I smell moss all the time as a kid, You'd playing around in woods and stuff. I don't get a hint of moss in this. No. This is all pepper and orange. I absolutely love this fragrance. Don't trust the reviewers. Test it by yourself. It's such a unique scent cloud. It's sweet and spicy. It's not generic. If you want to stand out in a good way, you may consider it. I agree. I agree. It, it it it's just such a treat for me. It's such a pleasure. My my disappointment with this is not being able to wear it enough, and because I I really want to wear this a lot of times, though I wouldn't want to ruin this fragrance by overdoing it and making it like a signature scent. To me, this is how hot walks would smell. Earthy, mossy, wet, damp, and lived in. Awesome fantasy scent. <laughs> fantasy scent. <sighs> yep. Well, I'm off to Hogwarts. Right. So, Murph 50. I love this fragrance. The first time I smelled it, I thought, no thanks. But a minute later, I couldn't stop smelling it. Recently bought a bottle. It's a great warm scent that I've received compliments on and lasts all day. I, I do, yeah. If people are looking for a, a long last and value for money, yeah, definitely. If Kalam was a rapper, it would be Eminem. Extreme, controversial, and artistic. 
it's so different and complex compared to most of the perfumes the mainstream people cannot understand at first but later when years pass by they start to love it it is complex a beast and projects a lot i love the blood orange and the pepper in it the dry down is absolutely fabulous in my opinion you could wear this all year round one of my favorite pvdms that is kalam if heat had a smell which it distinctly does this would be it bold fierce unapologetic and sort of gourmandy I say gourmand, savoury, due to that red hot pepper vegetable vibe. So far, the two PDMs that I own are this and Leighton Exclusive. I like these two because of their fierce, bold and unapologetic, luxurious, lustful scents they give off. Kalan, however, really pushes it in your face with its temperament. What a great review, actually. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Leighton Exclusive. Um, it's, it, it's far superior than Leighton in my mind and how I respond to that. And yes, Gourmand, definitely. I smell caramel of, in this. It's not listed. Though I, I don't know where that, that smell comes from, but I really want to eat this. And I, can, I wouldn't. Definitely not. Oh, Rotten Rebel. I recently reviewed this on my YouTube Rotten Rebel. I wanted to share my thoughts on the scent with the fine folks of Frugantica. Kalan opens up spicy with a sort of bitter kind of citrus. The opening is not my favourite part of the scent and I feel it's very much the opening that some guys don't like. To me, Kalan drives down to something woody with a dose of soft vanilla and a hint of sweetness with something ambery and earthy to it. Fantastic dry down, love it. One of the most complimented scents of last year. And it's an unreal compliment getter. Even those who usually don't care much about scents like the dry down of Kalat. Not sure why this has a, such a low rating. Maybe low rating because of the opening scaring some guys away. To me, it's cosy, good. And the positive reactions I get when wearing it are just a nice bonus. Don't get it if you're sensitive to spicy scents or if you don't enjoy woody scents. Try before you buy and if you try it, please do try it on skin. Happy days. Okay, so to round this up, it's, it's way into the dry down now and it's just heaven. It's, it's just heaven. And what I'm gonna give this, Does this get a full 10 out of 10? I think I'm gonna to have to wear it a few more times before I can honestly answer if this is a 10 out of 10. Right now, feeling the weight of the bottle in my hand, the slush of the liquid in there, the experience of the opening now onto the dry down, that there's a full 124 mil left now. I'm really happy about it's 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 a pleasure and what can you say about life without pleasure not that I'm hedonistic in that respect though I'd always encourage someone not to sell themselves short if it's not going to harm themselves or others then I don't see why owning a, a really wonderful fragrance and spraying it on you is going to have any impact on anyone else other than your own bank account. <laughs> Do you know, this, these aren't cheap. Though, value for money. Okay, I, I mean, if you wore that every day, you'd probably get a year out of that. So, £180 for a year, smelling flipping absolutely fantastic wherever you go for £180. Yeah, I think where I stand now is I'm at a nine. I don't know why I'm dropping this a point. I don't know why. <clears throat> I 
I'm, I'm trying to know why I'm dropping this a point from a 10. There's something that's stopping me giving it a 10 and I really can't put my finger on it because price, brilliant price for the fragrance, for, for the fluid, the, the performance of the fluid, the projection of this fragrance, the longevity, Siage, you remember it being a killer. So it ticks all those boxes. I just don't understand myself why I'm dropping it. There's something there and I just can't put my finger on why this isn't a perfect 10. I think maybe because there's probably not enough to keep me intrigued in this yeah and when i say that i love fragrances i wear where this smell will happen that smell will arise or i'll experience that throughout the duration this is the same experience once it comes to the dry down throughout so it's not as mysterious, I guess. That's that's the reason. It's, it's there's no mystery once this is dried down. To discover, there's just the pleasantness of the experience to enjoy. So, I think that's probably why it's a nine out of ten, because it lacks that mysterious factor. Though, that. It's probably not enough to drop it from a 10. I'm talking myself out. I'll stick it, I'll stick it a 9 out of 10 at the moment. Obviously, it needs some more weather, some more occasions. That, that might change. Uh, the point is, yeah, this is getting a 9. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, as I say, I hope you enjoying your day, smelling great and i'll see you on the next video which will probably be sadly so yeah all right guys have fun bye